We have a few different DIY methods to diffuse sunlight from a window. Most of the time we use a frosted shower curtain. It's easy to pin up and does a solid job. If the window is in shot, we sometimes cut out sheets of greaseproof paper and place them inside the frame. But what if the window has 17 visible panes? What if you want to diffuse the light and disguise the view outside and simply don't have time to cut out every single sheet for every single pane? Let me introduce you to diffusion in a car. Welcome to the film look. With glitchy overlays, distorted logo reveals and more, Rocket Stock's corruption is an ideal way to give your project a dramatic edge. See the pack in action at the link below. We went shopping for gold spray paint the other day and noticed this, frosted glass spray paint. Primarily used to give your windows a snowy Christmas feel, we wondered if it could work to diffuse a window from harsh sunlight. Let's put it to the test. To give it a fair test, we blocked out the light in the studio, rigged up a pane of glass, shone an LED light panel through it and recorded a bunch of tests. We're going to be getting a little bit sciencey now with f-stops and exposure values. I've put a link down below to a video that I'll explain it all. No diffusion is our reference test and this gives us a light meter reading of f4, 1 over 48, ISO 200 and 24 fps, which is essentially the same as our settings on the camera so the shot is correctly exposed. Next we added the frosted shower curtain. You can see here that it does a good job of diffusing the harsh light. The light meter gives us a change in value from f4 to f2.8, which means that it has half the amount of light hitting Rob's face. Then we swap the frosted shower curtain for the greaseproof paper. Again, this does a good job of diffusing the light and creating softer shadows. The light meter gives us a reading of f2, reducing the light twice as much as our shower curtain. Currently, we have a quarter of the light coming in compared to our first shot with no diffusion at all. The light meter is telling us that in order to expose correctly, like our first shot, we need to add more light. Now we can do this two ways, we can either increase the brightness of our light source or we can change the settings on our camera to increase exposure. Anyway, let's see how the glass paint worked. We sprayed several even coats of paint onto the glass and waited around 30 minutes to let it dry. As you can see, the paint did very little to diffuse this light source. The only difference I can spot is the added roundness of Rob's shadow. Evidently, the light meter read f4, so it did in fact retain most of the light coming in from our test. But this doesn't mean it's not diffusing the light, so instead we did another test on a much bigger source. For our second test, we put the greaseproof paper and the frosted glass paint head to head to see which can seamlessly diffuse the window faster. Rob uses the roll of greaseproof paper, scissors and some sticky tack and I use the frosted glass paint and some masking tape to protect the paint work. The greaseproof paper method took 30 minutes and 41 seconds to complete 6 panes. The paint and masking tape method took 16 minutes and 24 seconds to complete 6 panes. Almost half the amount of time. Rob admitted that to get a completely seamless effect with the paper, he would have been working on the panes for at least another half hour. The paint is definitely the quicker option with a more seamless finish. To cap it off, here are some examples of the painted window panes diffusing the direct sunlight. The frosted glass paint does diffuse pretty well given a large enough surface and a harsh enough light. At this point you might be wondering if frosted glass paint will do harm to your window. Let me show you just how easy it is to remove using a glass scraper and some window cleaner. Simply spray the paint with a good amount of window cleaner and leave it to soak in for a few minutes. Then take your glass scraper and with a little pressure, remove the layer of paint. If it's wet, it should come off like a layer of cellophane. Grab a towel and wipe off any residue and it's as simple as that. So if you need a quick, simple and cheap method to diffuse a window and disguise the view from outside, grab yourself some diffusion in a can. You can find links to the frosted paint and the glass scraper we used in the description below. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe? We make filmmaking videos every Tuesday and bonus content like vlogs, writing sessions and a bunch of others on a Sunday. We'd like to give a big shout out to Rocket Stock for sponsoring today's video. If you need distorted logo reveals and corrupt video overlays, check out their corruption video pack. You can find the link in the description below or simply head over to rocketstock.com. Thank you all for watching the film look. I've been Richard Scott and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.